everybody, my name is Mariah Sims, and it's a great evening for football. We're here at Keeper Stadium for Bishwamont's first opening game versus the Servite Friars. We have Tom Kiss and Familiar Face to talk about tonight's match. Thanks, Mariah. Fred Robledo with the San Gabriel Valley Tribune is here with me today. We're going to talk about Samama football, especially defensively. Well, I think they just got to come out and play hard. You know, last week that third quarter really wore them down, and I don't know if that's a reflection of their defensive line or maybe just one of those nights that got away from them. So tonight against Servite, and Servite's coming off a really big win last week. They've just got to come out and show who they are, shut them down at the line of scrimmage because that's that's where they had some problems last week. Well, let's talk about quarterback, especially when we start talking about Bish Beaumont. Last week, they platoon two quarterbacks what's going to happen this week well who knows i mean we're going to have to wait and find out you know it was a question even if you asked coach steve haggerty this week he wasn't going to tell you so i think you're going to come out um uh, Ryder and damian neither one looked particularly great last week but last year when you when you watched them they had great stretches throughout the season so we'll just have to wait and see and and, and watch how that unfolds and when we start talking about quarterbacks, we have to talk about Servite's quarterback. Tyler Lytle is his name. He's 6'4", last week in a 45-7 to victory through three t two touchdowns, scored one himself. He's big at 6'4", 200. He passed for 422 yards. He's landed three scholarship offers since the season opening game. He's been offered by Cal, Temple, Washington State. He's already been offered by Miami in the spring. So another tough matchup for the Lancers tonight. They can't go 0-2, can they, Fred? No. No, I mean, well, well, they can. I mean, they can. Especially, Tom, when you look at the, the injury situation and what's gone on this last week. You know, Toriano Sweet, who probably had their best game last week, he was suspended for something that happened in a midweek practice. We're already looking behind here right now, and Trayvon Sidney's in, in street, uh, street clothes. Word is that he might be out up to three weeks with a knee injury. Matt Brayton's out. Andrew Vasquez is out. So you're talking about a lot of super starters that they don't have. So, you know, can they start 0-2? Yeah. Do they want to? Absolutely not. Not for a team who, who came into the season with so many expectations, but when you have injuries and things like this happen, you know, things can unravel real quick, so we'll have to watch and see how this unfolds. Well, this ought to be an interesting matchup. Mariah, back to you. A win tonight will not only help the Lancers' confidence, but they do not have to fall 0-2. We have highlights and interviews coming up. Almont's going to get the ball kicked off to them, and without Trayvon Sidney, it's going to be up to Tyler Vaughn, who's going to take this and break it up on the right-hand side and come all the way down to the Servite 45 yard line before he's brought down. Lancers missed a field goal try. It was the Ahmad D early. William Kelly gets to the quarterback, Tyler Lytle, brings him down. It's going to be Ahmad who's going to strike first, though. Quarterback Damian Garcia gets it himself, gets into the end zone, 20 yard run. Lancers up 6 0 after missing the PAT. Second quarter action. Ahmad is back to punt, kicking at the Servite, a close call for the Friars as Terrell Bynum is going to muff this punt, but they're able to retain possession, and that's a key. Quarterback Lytle then on third down hits DeLon Hurt over the middle, then on second down he's going to run this from 15 yards out into the end zone. The Friars take the lead, 7-6, to six. but on the next offensive series for Ahmad, Doing what they needed to do. Damian Garcia back to pass. Looking for Tyler Vons. A 30-yard pass play. Firing up the Lancers. Then on third down with 15 seconds left after a timeout. Garcia looks to the left. And who does he find? Tyler Vons. Amat regains the lead. 13-7. Takes it into the locker room. Third quarter action, Amat in the red zone. And once again, it's Garcia. Calling his own number, scrambling around, finishes the drive, 15-yard touchdown run. An offsides call on the first PAT try, brings in the beef, and Amat converts with the two-point conversion. They're up to 21-10 to now, fourth quarter action, and it's Garcia swinging the ball to the left, almost intercepted. But it falls right in the hands of Tyler Vons. His second touchdown of the night for 20 yards. And the Lancers win it big. Big win for Amont tonight. We talked to their head coach, Steve It always Hyde. helps when you get a win. And that really helped for you guys tonight. Talk about that win. Sure, I thought it was a, kind of a gutsy win for us. And, uh, you know, we, we, uh, we were down a few guys. And I thought the kids stepped up and did real well. And uh, kind of a good team victory coming off of a... 
kind of an ugly loss last week, even though it was three points. We just we just didn't really feel like we put our best foot forward. So it was good to get a win tonight and kind of it just it just feels better. It's a little bit more of a team uh, kind of a thing. So it was good. Seems like a lot different team came out to start the second half tonight. What did you tell them at, at halftime? No, nah, not much. I mean, it's the halftime stuff's overrated. Um, I just kind of feel like they probably grew in confidence from their play in the first half. And, and uh, although I think Survey, I think they drove the ball pretty well the first to start the half. But I think we, if I'm not mistaken, it's hard to remember. But I, anyways, we turned them away and got the ball back. And I think that, uh, so that was kind of a, that was a, 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 a kind of a gritty performance, so it was good. They had a slow start with their quarterback. He wasn't doing well, and then he went to the running game, yeah. and and they started yeah. moving the ball. Yeah, no, they're they're uh, they definitely are tough up front, and they're uh, you know they uh, uh, saw last week when we got pushed around yeah. probably and figured let's uh, let's try to push these guys around a little bit. So and uh, so we kind of challenged them a little bit and, and uh, I think that uh, we were just having a little trouble on the perimeter I think of just kind of pushing it back inside it kept spilling out there but once we were able to do that I think we I thought the kids played pretty well up front so how about the kids who obviously said there were some guys out tonight and then the other guys stepped in for them is yeah. that the, the philosophy one guy down next guy up right? sure yeah I mean that's you know um, th- that's how kids uh that's how kids start to grow in confidence and and figure that you know they can contribute and they are varsity players and and uh, so real proud of them and uh, um, but I think everybody was pulling for each other and I think that these are sometimes uh, more fulfilling stuff when when uh, when guys are doing things uh, for each other and uh, for the right reasons and uh, I think that it was a real good win tonight um, you know we saw we saw them on film and I think Sir Wright's a good team I I'm not sure I think they got to figure some things out and you know who they are but I think they have some good tools. And uh, so it's a good win for us. Yeah. Well, congratulations Thanks. and good luck next week. Thanks a lot. Tough loss for Sir Wright tonight. We talked to their head coach, Tough Scott. Way to lose, but talk about that team tonight. Uh, talk about Amat, their offensive weapons, and everything that they had through at you tonight. Yeah, they're, I mean, they're a really good football team, both offensively and defensively. I thought their quarterback, um, you know, he hurt us with his arm and with his legs. You know, he got him, you know, some big first down scrambling. He could really run. And um, I thought he did a good job running the whole offense as a whole. They kind of kept us off balance a little bit, I felt. You guys kind of went away from the pass in the beginning of the game, and you started running the ball, and you started moving it pretty good. Uh, what was the strategy on that for you guys to move that? Yeah, you know, we came out and we tried to throw it, um, you know, and they got after us a little bit with their pass rush and, you know, doing a good job in coverage. And I uh, couldn't quite get a whole lot going, so we jumped in our two tight end three back set and, you know, we put together, you know, probably our best drive of the night and just tried to play some physical football and, and get some momentum going. Did you learn anything from uh, modern day when they were pounding the ball in the third and fourth quarters uh, against Alma? Is that what brought you that? Yeah, and, you know, this has been part of our offense. We didn't show it a whole lot last week, but uh, we're trying to establish some physical football in ourselves, and uh, so that was uh, probably the first step in doing so. This is a young team, a young quarterback. What what did they learn tonight? Yeah, you know, it's a pretty inexperienced team overall. Um, We don't have a whole lot of returning starters back, so we're going to get better and better, and, uh, you know, playing against a good team like Ahmad early is going to help us in the long run. Well, good luck in a tough league, the Trinity League. Thanks, Coach. Thank you very much. Damian Garcia had a big night tonight. We talked to him after the game. Big win tonight, Damian. Talk about that game and what you guys did strategy-wise. You know, coming into the game, um, a lot of things were going on during the team. You know, we knew we uh, had to practice hard this week after the loss of day, but we didn't let that bother us. We knew uh, everything would come together eventually. Just we knew we had to step up, players missing, we got to just execute. That's it. You know, lost a lot. You know, you had a couple players that weren't out today, a couple of your weapons that that weren't out there, but – you did connect a couple times with Tyler Vance. Talk about some of those touchdown passes to him. Uh, it's something that we always work on at practice. You know, it's nothing like, nothing surprising. He's a good player. He made uh, good passes, but I got to give it off to my old line. Like it starts with them, and they don't get that much, uh, uh, you know, attention. But I like to give a shout out to them. The game goes out to them. Well, congratulations tonight. Thank you. Tyler Vaughn scored two touchdowns tonight. We talked to him after Tyler, the Tyler. Winning always helps things for you. Talk about that first touchdown cast tonight. Um, it was amazing. Just helped my team out. Um, I knew the play was gonna work. We've been working on it all week, and um, just knowing the plays and knowing the defense that they was running was really, really helpful this week. What does this win mean for you guys now? Now you're back to one and one. It means a lot. I mean, we have more, we have more um, enthusiasm to get get it done. So we know we can get it done this 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 next week coming up. Okay. Good luck to you. Thanks. Almont evens the record at one and one. Next week they will be facing Colony. This is Tom Kiss, reporting from Kiefer Stadium for the Tribune Sports.